Hey, do you have a really fast metabolism and have trouble packing on muscle? You're going to want to watch this. Our next caller is Dustin out of uh, Toronto, Canada. Dustin, what's up? How can we help you? Hey. Um, all right. So I guess I'll start with uh, just giving a uh, quick background. So um, I'm about five foot ten, 165 pounds. So I've um, been doing uh, MAPS aesthetic on and off for the past year. And uh, I do a lot of stationary biking and biking about five or six days a week. So over the past year, I'd say I put on about five pounds of uh, relatively, I guess, muscle for the most part. Um, and now going into the next year, <clears throat> excuse me, looking to uh, kind of up it a bit more, um, trying to put on a bit more weight. So I'm eating about 3,200 calories a day, give or take between that and 3,400. Um, so just the, yeah, looking to kind of step it up next year or moving forward. And uh, I'm kind of at a sticking point for the past couple months, I'd say. So my weight's pretty much stayed relatively around the same. So just wanting to add hopefully about like another 10 pounds of muscle in a year's time would be nice, um, give or take as well. So just kind of looking for some advice in terms of, you know, should I change my program, eat more, um, maybe move less, yeah. just not really sure where to go. Yeah, Dustin, so two things that will probably make a, a, a more immediate change. One is as amazing as MAPS Aesthetic is, I know it's switch great. Switch out of that to Animal Yeah, Life. it's time to switch to another program. Because you've been key, you're doing the same thing over and over again. Not so. only that, but that's actually one of our highest volume programs. Mm -hmm. And because you're already doing so much biking, uh, you don't need that. And especially if your goal is to pack on some muscle, a, a lower volume program like Maps Anabolic and uh, would would serve you better in the first place. So, yeah. not to mention what Sal's saying that you've been doing it for an extended period of time, so your body's pretty well adapted. Uh, yeah, because so, that that alone will make a difference, yeah, and I, I think those calories you're eating will get you know. Because if the signal to build muscle isn't there, mm -hmm. then you can eat all the calories you want. It's not gonna it's not gonna happen. So you need to change the signal a little bit. So Maps Anabolic would be great. Even Maps Performance or Split would be good. But I think Anabolic's probably a better switch. And then uh, cut your biking down a little bit. You don't have to eliminate it, but you're doing it five days a week. I'd cut it down to two days a week. Those two things alone with your current calories will probably result in muscle gain. Now, if you want to throw calories on top of that, it'll happen a little faster. But I think that's probably the, those are probably the most, for me, the most obvious changes you can make that will give you the biggest uh, return. I mean, I think, I think you make the decision based off of, well, I think what's, all of them are true, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Changing the program, increasing calories or reducing movement, and all of them should result and seeing a, a, a movement in the, the positive direction you're trying to go, which is building muscle, uh, you can you can do a lot of one of them, or you can do a nice blend of all three, right? So you could actually you could reduce biking by only one or two days, mm -hmm. increase uh, calories, and switch program, and you would see great results. Or you can completely reduce yeah. biking and just switch over to Maps Anabolic and see huge results. Or you can significantly increase calories. It would really uh, my my answer to you would have to do a lot. To, what, what what do you prefer? You know, so if you if I felt like you were a client and you go, man, Adam, it's hard for me to even get thirty two hundred calories. Well, then me telling you, hey, let's move up to four thousand calories is going to be a really tough feat. So then I might go the direction of, okay, well, let's change your program up and reduce your 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 cardio that you're doing. Well, maybe you go to me like Adam. I just love biking. I don't I don't want to give it up at all. It's, it's a passion of mine and I enjoy it, but I still also want to build muscle. Then I say, okay, well. We got to boost those calories up and switch your programming up. So you've got a I lot think, of. I think that's for me. Okay. Like I like the biking, but I also want to, yeah, definitely like add some muscle mass as well. So I know I kind of want to dip into several different things. And I also want to kind of avoid the significant fat gain. So yeah. Yeah. Just that I, new stimulus. I mean, yeah. going, going into uh, a different phase where I, I mean, have you ever done one to three reps and that was the focus of just pure uh, strength driven exercise, you know, workouts. And that was like your, your entire goal was just to get strong and then rest. No, I've never done like significant rest periods. I think like the most I've done is maybe like 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. that, that new stimulus alone is it, watch how that impacts you and, and stay with it. And, uh, I think that it's just, it's mentally challenging for people to get out of their mm -hmm. comfort zone with that, but you know, trust in it and, and really like do it to the T. Yeah. We'll, we'll send you maps anabolic. Okay. Dustin. Uh, all right. Resist. And like, I want to just pile on to what Justin said because he's right uh the hardest part for you is going to be 
you know, telling somebody uh, who's only rested 30 seconds to 45 seconds, maybe a minute at most, that I want you to sit and rest for three minutes. <laughs> it just seem like an eternity. Yeah, it's going to seem like this is silly. This is a waste of my time. So uh, I'm going to we're going to try and stay ahead of this and in front of it for you and be like, rest those full three minutes. Give yourself adequate rest, way more than you ever have, and just and focus on every set you come back to, trying to be stronger and stronger under the bar. All right. Cool. All cool. Right, man. Thanks for calling. All right. Yeah, thanks. Love you guys. You guys are great. Thanks so much for everything. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Love Justin. you too. I almost did that. <laughs> I almost said that too. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, what's funny about this is that when you actually look at the amount of calories that your body needs when it wants to build another pound of muscle, yeah. it's not much. Right. It really isn't. So I know, and especially because he's already eating so much, a lot of times we're like, oh, let's throw more calories. If your body wants to build muscle... So oftentimes you don't need to jump your calories that much at all, or sometimes you don't. You just build that extra muscle. Well, I mean, that's that's why yeah. I made that point of like he could do like a subtle tweak of yeah. all of them, right? You could switch the programming, mm -hmm. just barely reduce the amount of cardio you're doing, just barely, like maybe drop a day yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, or two on that, and maybe add 100 calories, and that could yep. completely dramatically shift. I uh, like that combo. Right. Yep. That's a nice, And it's not really dramatic. He's not. I'm not saying you got to go way off the cycling because he loves doing yeah. it. And all you're doing is switching the programming. And I'm not asking you to eat a tremendous amount more, just 100 more calories. Probably a more successful approach because the abrupt turn a totally. lot of times doesn't stick. Right. Yeah, but that changing that signal, you know, it's uh, it's in in this particular case, I think it's going to make the biggest difference. Like lift differently when your body wants to build, it it tends to build. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here, and be sure to subscribe.